Oh, oh, howdy, doody. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> Hi, guys. I hope you're all right. If you haven't been here before, I'm Kerry. I'm a psychic intuitive reader. I'm just having a fag, sorry. It's got to be done. So I just walk the dogs. So I hope you're all right and you're having a good day. I hope you had a good weekend. I didn't come on yesterday because I took the day off. That really weird yesterday. Like, couldn't get comfy. It's like they roll your own. It ain't a joint. I have to have a fag when I've done the dogs. I just went on a lovely walk. I ate my breakfast while I was out. Off the bushes. We got blackberries. If you're not from England, we have like um, little blackberries. You can make blackberry and apple. Got apple trees around me. I've got pear trees. You can eat a salad out of the forest. And um, yeah, I was picking blackberries. I had a big handful of blackberries. So I've had my breakfast. I'm so lucky to live here. Yeah, and then I had an apple on the way back as well. So I had a nice apple. I said to the woman, they are apples to eat. She's like, yeah, take them. She said, my son bit an apple one day, left it to the core and threw it. She said, and then I got a tree. And he's about 40 years old now. And they were blimmin' nice as well. Sorry, guys, I'm never organised. You know, If you know me, you know me, yeah? And I don't know what I'm doing. It just as I'm guided. So, right. My dog, my XL bully, walks now like he's a chubby man in skinny jeans. Since he's had his balls chopped up, he does. I was watching him say, fit, he looks like a chubby man in skinny jeans. <laughs> oh, don't, the things that go through my head. Right, so, angels and ancestors come into my space and guide me through this read. Shall we do a karmic one or shall we do a love one? I think... I'm going to do my cards today, guys. I'm going to do my angel cards, which I make myself. And I gave them a really good shuffle yesterday. I literally put them all in a box and shuffled them all up. So I hope you're having a good day, like I said. If you're not, just try to have one. <laughs> Seriously. And thanks for all your messages. Thanks for all your likes. I do appreciate it. It does get me moving around the channel more because I was getting a little bit lost on YouTube. Oh, no. Here we go, here we go, hold tight, hold tight. It's like being at the fairground right here, we're on the roller coaster of the car mix. Woohoo, woohoo. Right, hold tight, hold tight, hold oh, blimmin' tight. Right, easy target. So someone thought you was an easy target. Oh, that has just flown out of my hands and it's got get back on it. Right, hold up, guys, because it's a yes. So someone thinks you're an easy target, all right? Here we go. I'm going down. It's gone the other way, and it says, get back. <laughs> that's probably because that's what I always say, don't I? When the car makes I'm like, get back. That's my angels. <laughs> right. This is either get back, is it? Get back, or someone wants to get back with you, or they want to get you back. Get you back, or get you back, as in get you back. Right, we'll see. Right, so yes, look, get back. That's what I say all the time. Right. Oh, here we go. Brace yourself, Kel. Right, so yes, someone thinks you're an easy target. I do repeat myself. I know it's annoying, but I can't help it because I'm guided. And I forget what I've said sometimes. Right, so. Someone might be feeling happy that they can get you back, I'm getting. Angels say you must have to them now so you must listen to your angels guys all right listen to your angels okay because someone wants to get you back or they want to get you back as in revenge because they think you're an easy target they might think you're just an easy target just to get you back but you're feeling happy but i feel someone's feeling happy in general thinking that they can move into a house with you and I feel they're quite like, this person's quite cocky. Like they they think like if they make up their mind about something, they can just have what they want. They're very entitled. I always say this. I know this energy. I can feel it. So this person might want to come back into your home or get back with you in general, okay? They might realise you've got nicer days coming and you're enjoying yourself and they might think that you've got money, energy, we go, Someone thinks you've got money, or because you're doing better with yourself, you probably do it, you're better in general. Right, so someone's seen you, they're keeping tabs on you, this person. They are, 
they are keeping tabs on you so someone's watching you so it could be watching you as in progressing in your life they could be looking at you on social media or they could be keeping tabs on you by asking friends or people that you know or just asking around all right so we don't know who it is yet because i haven't got an energy of that yet but i know this person thinks you're an easy target so this person might be getting a bit I wanted to say jumped up then like I think this person just thinks well I'll have it and then it's mine no <laughs> right so someone celebrated their own downfall and they did so they celebrated way too early someone's finding that life is very confusing at the moment like at this precise moment now this person knew it worked out with you before and they remember that so this person knows Oh, well, it worked before, so uh, I know they're an easy target. So, yeah, they'll have me back, and they're feeling really happy about this. But the trouble is they celebrated you not having a good future, not having a good life, probably didn't want you to get on with anything, didn't want you to be happy, and they may have targeted you before. Right, this person might see you when you're outside walking, or you could ride a bike. They could see you when you're outside. I do read my cards different every time. And if I pull them, I'm guided to. If I shuffle, I'm guided to, okay? I try and make this as simple for you as I can. Because tarot can be very confusing sometimes. And I don't really want you having to work it all out. Because it's sort of... Some people like it and some people don't. So, you might be getting outside more. But I don't feel that. I feel someone can see you outside when you're walking. Or they might walk outside or ride a bike all right someone is missing home so they're missing you as in you are their home or they've lived with you in a home or they're just missing you because you keep a nice home you cook you looked after this person it's a nice um atmosphere nice surroundings for this person okay this person knows that you've got a lot stronger now and that you are feeling more confident in yourself i'm getting all right so, let's have a shuffle and see what's going down in Karma Town. <laughs> right, let's see. Oh, right, my videos are only 30 minutes long now if you haven't seen me lately because I'm keeping them shorter so I can do you more videos, all right? Because I get drained and this is just better for me and I think it's better for you. So, warning, keep this person away from you, okay? So, this person might be a bit of a warning as in... Yeah, they've been diving deep into getting back with you. So they've been thinking about this a lot. This person knows. Right, this is confirmation. I always get confirmation from what I've said. Yeah, this person knows your home is very peaceful. So they might want to upset your peace. Or they want to be around you because it is more peaceful. And your home is more happy. So this is confirmation for what I just said. I always get confirmation, guys. My, my cards do not lie, all right? So they think your home is a happy home and everything goes all right in your home i just got they might want a party in your home i don't know why i got that someone might want a party in a home or they might have been thank you angels they might have been partying in a home and they're fed up with now because it's not peaceful and they're getting fed up with it okay so someone wants to talk to you about how they feel they want to let something out to you, okay? So they want to obviously meet up, come to your home or just speak to you. Because they're feeling confused about... I think this person's feeling confused why you are happy. Why are you just listening to your angels? Why are you... They might even be feeling that... Um, if you spoke to this person before about being into angels and the universe, this person might be realising that you obeying your angels... Is got you where you are and you are a lot happier and that's why your home is peaceful yeah someone wants to let go of something because they don't want it to be part of their life anymore they want to be on a new journey okay guys but the trouble is this person sleeps around and this person is a little bit of a show-off I feel this person goes around acting like they're all happy, going with all different people that they pretend that they, like, fit in with. They probably don't. They just sleep with whoever. But this person sleeps around to show off their disability. <laughs> they do. Or they might have a disability. Or they might sleep around with people that are on disabilities or disability allowance. 
or they might like people a little bit less fortunate than them like a little bit slow i'm not being horrible but it's how the energy i get i got slow okay so this person's digging deep about this they might be diving into how you've got a happy home how are you so happy but this person's still sleeping around guys all right so be careful this person might want to come back and sleep with you because you're feeling good about yourself now and this person knows that you are doing very well okay guys that's why this person wants to come on your journey because you've carried on your journey and i feel this person didn't go along the journey with you they went a different route and went off with somebody else so they're diving deep into this right so this person might start an argument with you they might try and bait you into an argument okay because you've let go of this person oh right this person might want you to explain to them why have you got boundaries up against them you don't need to justify yourself to this person but they might want you to justify what's happened i'm feeling this person's feeling neglected you might have neglected them they might have neglected you i don't know yet but you two are not the same people you are complete opposites you might have been the same when you was together but now you're not the same as this person you're completely different you might be different in the way you're thinking if you've moved on more than this person you're not going to be like this person this person might think that you're still the same as you was before i'm getting right this person might even come like all dressed up like a dog's dinner <laughs> they might right this person is missing you but this person was like you didn't matter to this person at, at one point see this person thought you didn't matter to them at one point and now they're going to tell you that you're their top priority and you're their number one well if you was their number one why are they not still there then now i'm getting this quite strongly guys so this person is not the same as you but they might still think that you are the same as you was before i'm getting but this person like i said is missing you they might be wondering why or if you're missing them but this person is going to say that you are their top priority now but they got their just desserts and they're getting karma that is why guys all right yeah be careful because this person's gonna say that you're their top priority but if you was their top priority they would have come back and explained to you what was going on i'm feeling i felt you had to have boundaries with this person and you don't need to explain anything to this person because you don't need to justify anything that's happened this person knows that they're getting their karma that's why they want to come back because everything's not going their way everything's falling and days of struggling are here for them now and days of struggling for you are over so be careful because this person might be all about them and not about you like what makes them happy not what makes you happy okay and they know that you are happy at the moment they might want to spoil that this is adults behaving like children so this person hasn't grown up they're still going to act like a child they might be questioning themselves why do they act like a child maybe realizing acting like a child is why their days now are really hard and they're struggling but as i said collective it's because they're getting their karma so they're acting like a child all right they might be acting like a child as in having tantrums because things aren't going their way but you don't need to explain anything to this person maybe there's no point because they do act like a child and all it's going to do is get you into an argument. And this person will just bait you into an argument because they don't want to listen to you. That's what I'm getting. Thank you. Right, so, yeah. This person went off with somebody else to make you jealous because they was acting like a child. This is why this person's getting karma. This is why nothing's going right for this person. This is why this person is miserable. Yeah, I just said this is why this person wants to come back because the karmic's not so great now now they're thinking you're doing better than the karmic so you're doing a lot better so now they want to come back to you so this person obviously plays sides so they chose the wrong team now they want to come back to the team that they left or whatever you got rid of okay yeah the trouble with this person is they know that you make them feel better so i told you that's confirmation so this person 
knows that you make them feel better. It doesn't matter if they make you feel worse, but you make them feel better. So the person who is in this situation at the moment is thinking about themselves because they feel like you'll make them feel better and they know that their top priority, right? Their top priority is just how they feel, yeah? But you're both complete opposites, all right? But this person is struggling. This person is struggling. Right, thank you. So, this person wastes a lot of people's time, and yours included. So, this person is a time waster. So, be careful, because this person might just be coming back just to waste your time, because they know you're not spending time with them or on them anymore, because you're spending time with yourself, because you are top priority now, and you are number one. And don't you forget it, okay? I've got to have a sip of my coffee, because I end up not drinking it. Woo, I'm getting this so, like, strong today, guys. See, we'll have a day off, mate. Boom, boom, boom. It gets better. It's, I have to rest, I do. Right. So, they're a time waster, guys, all right? They're going to waste your time. Remember this, okay? You know this person's a time waster. My head is tingling. You know this person is. You remember this. You remember everything. You're not stupid. This person huh, probably feels like you won't remember this. But this person is heading towards you because they want you to heal them, to make them happier, okay? Time waster. They know time's running out, I just heard. That's what it is. They know time's running out. See, this person, what they don't realise is there's no time running out. There's no timing. They, oh, they're hurt. This person's hurt. So they're hurt because now they've wasted a lot of time and they feel like time's running out. See, this person rushes to do stuff. So they feel like, oh, I've got to get back there. I've got to do this. I've got to do that because I'm going to run out of time. Run out of time. They might get a new person. Oh, they're moving on. That's the only trouble with this person. That's what they do. They rush, 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 rush. That's why they never calm down and realise bad energy that there's no timing in the divine, okay? So they're time waster. So be careful. All right, guys. So they're just coming towards you because they want you to make them feel better. But you know this, okay? You remember this. You remember. God is giving them karma. Yeah, this person is not a very nice person. They're a disgusting person. They're a disgusting person for even thinking this, I'm getting. Because this person just thinks about them. Now, this person could be a disgusting person because they went off with someone to make you jealous, which is utterly disgusting, all right? And they didn't set no boundaries. They just did what they wanted to, carried on acting like adults, behaving like children, and now they're getting their karma, and they don't like it. So, sort of uh, getting your own medicine. Right, to the karmic, not you. Right, confirmation on the waste of time. If it makes you happy, it's not a waste of time. Now, we're talking about this person. So this person feels, well, if it makes me happy, I don't care if I waste anyone's time. Told you, my cards always confirm what I've said. So this person don't care if they waste your time, because as long as it makes them happy, it ain't a waste of time. Because this person is definitely a time waster. Definitely. And that card came up two cards after that one. All right? So this person doesn't care. This person is very sick. So they might be ill, they might be just feeling sick, they might be feeling sick because they wasted time. They're feeling very nervous. Now this person could be very scared of you because they might not have seen you for a while I'm getting and they're seeing you doing well and you are doing well and they know they're not because they wasted time, okay? Thank you, angels. They're bang on it today, angels. Thank you, guys. Right. Yeah, look, spirituality. So, <laughs> Oh, I love this card. Thank you so much. Oh, mate, you can't polish a turd. <laughs> you can't, though. Listen, you can wrap up a bit of poo in a bit of ribbon, mate, but take the ribbon off. It's still a bit of poo in it. This person is a turd, all right? You cannot polish a turd. You can't. Oh, I love that card. Thanks, angels. <laughs> I had to show you that first. So this person, sorry to say, Here's a turd, all right? They're disgusting. They are. They're very disgusting to even think this about coming back to waste your time when they know that you've moved forward just because it makes them feel happy. Right, so, as soon as I said that about sick and nervous, spirit, right? So you're obviously spiritual. So that's my spirit team telling me, obviously, I'm being guided by my spirits and by yours as well. That's why you're here. If you're drawn here, you would have come here for a reason, okay? So... 
This person might pretend that they're religious. I believe you're more spiritual. So spirituality is for people that have already been to hell, okay? Religious people don't want to go to hell. So this person might feel that they don't want to go to hell. Oh, I'm getting so much karma, everything's going bad for me. I don't want to go to hell. So if I go back, like, get a bit of spirituality off of you because you're all spiritual, you can heal them, then they won't go to hell. They're still going to get their karma, right? So... That's that. They're going to get their karma. And if you got back with this person, you would get their karma also, okay? And you don't want that to happen, all right? So don't let this person sway you because they're only doing this because they know you're doing well. And they just want to waste your time. So this person, I feel, is a bit nervous about you. And they are scared of you. They are because they obviously know that you are spiritual. You may be religious, but I feel you're spiritual. This person knows that you're feeling more confident now. And you've moved on. Okay, I'm reading a card here on the top, all right? So this person knows that in the past, you wasn't as confident as you are now, all right? So this could be a grown-up child. This could be a child that acts really childish. Or this could be your ex that you left or left you, I'm getting, all right? What does that say? Yeah, they know that with you, things do get better. So this is an ex or a child. So take it where it fits because there's a lot of you watching me. So this person is nervous, okay? Like I said, they might be ill. This person's scared, okay? They don't know what to do because they know that you're confident. So you might act more confident around this person when you see them. They might not be able to handle that because they like to be the confident one, I'm getting. So this person knows that you've moved on. They might be scared that you've moved on because you left them. And now things are getting better for you. Things are better now than they are in the past, okay? Take it where it fits, my darlings. We're smashing this today, isn't it? Right. So your life is taking place right here, right now. They know. Now, this person knew that your life was going to get better. So this person, I'm tingling all over. This person held you back on purpose so you didn't move forward. Nice. So now they want to come back. They might be nervous about this, that because you're spiritual now and you're intuitive, thank you, angels, keep it going, that you are not going to be held back. This person wants to hold you back. I'm tingling all over, guys. This person wants to hold you back on purpose, okay? And they are not feeling as confident about doing this now because they know you're more confident, okay? This is why they're doing this because they couldn't hold you back before. So this person's going to try it again. Well, it didn't work before, so why would they try it again? Because they're stupid. And they're a stupid idiot and they're a blooming adult that acts like a child. Now, this person knows that your life is taking place right now, okay? So they want to knock you off your pedestal, basically, because you've moved on and they don't like it. You might have moved on with the kids, as in you've got kids with this person and they might not like that fact and that might be why they're feeling sick. Now, you could have changed your career or this person might lie and say they have changed their career, they've got a new job, things are going really well for me, blah, blah, blah. You had to be your own hero with this person, right? So you had to do this alone. And the thing is, you did this on your own, yeah? And you could have got even with this person. You could have took revenge, but you didn't. See, this is what this person is not understanding, okay? They held you back on purpose. They went off with the karmic to make you jealous. They might have even made you feel sick. They might have even made you feel nervous. You might have even had to have changed your career. I'm buzzing all over. I tell you I'm buzzing because it's confirmation from my angels, all right? I try and involve you as much as I can. So you might have had to have changed your career with this person because they held you back from something you wanted to do. But you still was your own hero. Well done you. Give yourself a pat on the back, darling. And this person doesn't understand, why didn't you get even? Why did you get better? How did you get better when you should have got even? This person might have wanted you to take revenge to show the karmic, oh, well, look, see, see, this is what they're like, see? I told you, that's what I'm getting, right? Itchy nose, so somebody is argumentative. That's when my nose itches, okay? Or they're talking about you. Right. You had to be your own hero. Remember that, you had to do a lot of this on your own without this blimmin' child, this adult that behaves like a child, okay? Don't let this person hold you back, right? It's only because they know you're moving forward and they probably think you've got a new person coming in and everything's going well for you guys. That's what it is. But you did not get 
even you didn't you just got better you grew you worked on yourself and made a better life for yourself and this person celebrated your downfall and thought you weren't going to get this far probably oh yeah look they're losing oh look they probably knew you had to be your own hero when they could have helped you i'm getting as well and now they're confused well you will be because you followed your spiritual messages you followed your guides you followed your ancestors you followed downloads you did everything you were told to do you was probably guided not to take revenge doesn't mean you couldn't have took revenge you just didn't want to take revenge that was the choice that you made i feel some of you are not as stupid as this person thinks you are you're not as weak as this person thinks you are and now they realize it i am tingling okay so what you did you followed everything that you was guided to do where you was guided to come on get up brush yourself off be your own hero you can do this now don't get even your angels told you come on you just get better you work on yourself get better and this person is very sick of this and doesn't like it it might even make this making this person feel like they are just sick like just sick as in how did you do this all right and they don't like it because they avoided their own truth okay you might have told this person that this was all going to happen and they just avoided it avoided you avoided everything and look they avoided their own, their own truth. So now they know what you said was true. They know, okay? And that's what's making this person feel ill. Right, let's have a little shuffle out. I think you had to leave a career because of this person. Or you had to change your career. Yeah, you are stronger now than you seem to others. So this person knows that you are strong. Yeah, this person knows that you're strong, knows that you're doing whatever brings joy to you. They know you're happy. They might know you're having fun. They know you're moving forward. Everything they wanted to hold you back from, now you're doing it. Well done you. Honestly, I mean that. I'm so proud of you. And now you are stronger than you seem to this person and others. So there might be others involved with you and this person. So they know now that you're stronger. They avoided that, yeah? They may have even known you're stronger. That's why they wanted to hold you back, okay? But you were so strong because the spirits helped you with everything and you became your own hero. There you go. Right, so this person might be older than you. They might even be pensioner age, this person. So it could be a parent. It could be just an older figure father figure mother figure we don't know i've got no sexes here at the moment okay so they know that you're having fun and moving on this person might have been racist yeah or might be a bit of a bigot that you might be from a different race you might come from a different community than this person so this person might be a bit older as in go hug a pensioner all right <laughs> they might be a bit of an old-fashioned kind of thinking person yeah where this person might have been funny with people's races maybe you look different maybe you talk different maybe you're a different color this person is a bit racist i feel or a bigot all right yeah, so this person now is getting played and cheated on by the same person that came for you that they left you for. So they're getting their karma. So this person's getting played and cheated on all over the place. And whoever came for your piece is now taking their piece away. So that's why they want to come back to you. But they're not going to come back to you because you're doing it right this time. And you are. You're doing it right this time. All right. They may not like it that you're doing it right this time. Yeah, because mountains are being moved for you, and they are. You may have had to have climbed mountains to get where you are, and don't forget that, guys, all right? Right, a couple more cards, then I'm going to leave it at that, guys, and then I will jump back on. Right, <laughs> I should laugh, but I've got to. Right, sorry. All, all who took part in this, so the karmic, there were other people involved. Anyone that took part in trying to destroy you and holding you back because they might have been racist they might have seen you doing well so they thought oh let's hold them back now guess what and this person knows this they are now all financially screwed so this person now has got no money or their finances are going or they might not be able to get a career they might not be able to change their career they might not be able to find a job because this my friend is called karma okay all who took part now they won't get money they won't get nothing because that's what they wished for you by holding you back. 
and be careful because they see you doing well and that's what they want this isn't about you this is about what they want and this person will hold you back on purpose this person doesn't like you moving forward guys all right yeah, don't worry, this is the best time of your life at the moment, and I'm going to leave it on this. This will be the best days of your new life, and it is. This is your life now, okay? And this person just wants a little piece of it. All right, that's all it is with this, guys. Right, let's leave it there, my lovelies. Yeah, you're showing up for yourself one day at a time. You are doing this for you. You're looking after you. All you care about is you, that's it. Just show up for yourself, no one else, all right? And do it one day at a time, guys. I hope you like that read, my little darlings. I am going to do you a prayer because, sorry I didn't know who it was, but you know who it is. You get confirmation anyway with tarot, that's all it is. Right, we're going to have, shall we have that around? I don't know if I've done that before. We're going to have restraint, okay? So, relax, I'm have a little prayer. I like doing a little prayer. Mind your earphones if you've got them on. We'll have a little dingling just to get rid of the energy. It wasn't that bad energy, to be honest with you. More like they're just in their thoughts, to be honest. I think this person knows they're just at the end of it now. And they ain't, they ain't no coming back. And if they do, you're too strong to deal with it. And you are, and that's that. And well done you. Right. Put your sword back in its place. Jesus said to him, For all who draw the sword will die by the sword. Do you think I cannot call on my father? And he will at once put at disposal more than 12 legions of angels. Okay? So that's from Matthew out of the Bible. Right. Jesus, you were fully human while you were here. So I can imagine how tempting it must have been to silence your distractors. How convenient. This is actually going to resonate with you. I notice I can feel it. Right, I'm going to start again because I just got confirmation. This is why I get I get led to prayers because they for you from what I've said in the cards. Okay, so Jesus, you were fully human while you were here, so I can imagine how tempting it must have been to silence your detractors, to cure every ill. When I consider your restraint, I realise I need to call on your spirit for my own control. I have a hard time resisting an argument, Lord, but I know peace is the path you'd have me walk. Comfort and relaxation call my name, though I know you have still more for me to do. I need your self-control, Holy Spirit. Fill me with restraint and a longing for peace it brings. Amen. Isn't that lovely? So don't worry. God, whatever you believe in, will restrain this person from you and send your angels down to protect you. And I'm buzzing all over. So that was very um, fitting for you, wasn't it? My prayers are even like they lead me to what you're supposed to have. That's why I randomly pick them. Guys, if you like the video, if you don't mind smashing that like button. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. I'm so grateful for all your messages and I'm grateful for the time you spend with me. That's why I'm keeping it around 30, 35 minutes, okay? I hope you have a lovely day. I will be back on soon, and I will. And I just want to tell you, I love you, and I'm really proud of you, and I am. And I know it's been a long journey. Don't worry about this person. It's only an energy, like I tell you all the time. If they want to come back, they're just thinking about it. This person does a lot of thinking and not a lot of action. <laughs> Seriously. And thanks for coming to my channel. I love you guys. Have a lovely day. And know I know you're beautiful. Adios.